Here's everything you need to know about Playmaker. First, there is the official Hutong Games YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Hutong Games LLC. You can find it by typing in Hutong Games and getting it as your first search result. And once you're here, if you're just starting out with Playmaker, you wanna check out the core concepts playlist. So you can access that from the home tab or you can come over to playlists and see plenty of other playlists we have. Down here is the core concepts playlist. So in this playlist, you have the introduction of Playmaker. What is it? What's an action? All these very fundamental ideas are explained in a really beginner friendly way. And we take you through into more advanced lessons as well. Our core concepts playlist is constantly growing. So even when you've gotten the hang of things, it's good to check in on this playlist to see what other new lessons we've made. On the side, you can also check out our additional playlists like Playmaker integration for third party assets, things like Easy Save or Pixel Crusher's dialog system or Root Motion's final IK, or even a full project based course, this Zombie Horde course that we have. Now over here on the videos tab, you could just scroll through here, right? And all of them are organized either by the latest, popular or oldest, which is fine. But you can also use this search feature. Okay, so in here, if I wanted to learn about arrays, if I just type in array, it gives me videos that talk about arrays. So loops with Playmaker, that talks about arrays. Introduction to Easy Save also has that. Fundamentals of input design, inventory, all these things will cover in some way arrays. So this search tool is a really great way of finding subjects that you're interested in without having to scroll through the entire catalog. Now let's check out one of these videos. So we have this loops video here, right? And down here in the comments, we could find something like this right here. It says, I have to ask you though, you sent a shortcut key to add a finished event. I need that info. And right here, we say holding control or command on a Mac plus clicking the state will add the finished transition. So if you ever have a question about the tutorial, check out the comment section. A lot of the times people have already asked the question that you're thinking. We try to do our best to answer some of the more pressing questions. However, we can't get to all the questions all the time, in which case I want to point you to the next resource, which is available here on Playmaker's website, which is hutongcames.com. Up here, the manual. The manual, it looks really boring. It's a bunch of text. Fine, so be it. But it is an invaluable resource. Playmaker has great documentation. If you just look at this sidebar here, it covers so much. And if I try to go through the entire manual here in this video, that's like producing all the tutorials we have on the YouTube channel anyway, uh, times a million, because there's just so much information here. If you ever really wanna take a deep dive into Playmaker, come here, check out the manual, and just scroll through some of these entries, because there's a lot here. There's so much, it's so much. By the way, you could search the manual in here. So again, I searched arrays earlier. So if I search array here, it gives me all the search results in the manual for things that have array in them. Now, when you can't find something here, a lot of times a good answer too is hitting up the old Googs. And in here you'd search what you want. So something like Playmaker Action Update Order. And check that out. It'll point you to the manual here, or it'll point you to a form entry. This result directs to the Playmaker forums, as well as pulling up all these videos here. And honestly, for a tool that has over a decade of being battle tested by so many users through so many projects, through so many games, the internet in general is chock full of answers for Playmaker. So while we're here, we could just go to the forum, right? You can come here. Also, by the way, from the official website, you can also just go to forums right here. It's linked at the top. Okay, and this is the Playmaker Forum. The Playmaker Forum is still alive and well. There's still people that are posting things and discussing things here. But more importantly, what the forum is really good for is answers for all the common questions that have been asked over the last decade. So I'm gonna search set game object in here, and I'm gonna get all these results for a bunch of common things that have to do. There isn't much to it. You're just searching a forum, right? There you go. Now, the other thing is the official Discord. Now, the Discord is very active. This is a great place to go to get answers. If you're really stuck on something and you can't find your answer anywhere else, definitely swing by here. The community is great. There's a bunch of really nice people that are always willing to help. Sometimes I'm poking around in here, also helping people. Links to the Discord are available in the description of basically every video we do. You can see right here, Playmaker Discord, okay? So even in this video, you should be able to scroll down to the description and find the Playmaker Discord. Click that and join it. Now, the thing is, with Discord, yes, come in and ask away if you're really stuck on something, but beforehand, you might wanna first try finding an answer to your question 
that might have already been given to somebody else who before you asked the same question. So what you could do is come to any one of these uh, channels in the community here and come up to the search bar and you could search just like you're searching the form or the manual for stuff like nav mesh. Okay, so here's all these people asking questions about nav mesh stuff. Cage1129 says, does nav mesh work in a space environment? If you click on that, you'd probably be better off with using ray casting to develop your AI logic or use waypoint system. Nav mesh is based off, along, based off moving along mesh, which is a good answer. And the conversation can continue. And, you know, but for Cage, it sounds like that makes sense. So, so if you were wondering the same thing, your answer already exists. And all it took was a quick search and it was right here at the top, something like that. Okay, so those are the main tools that you have at your disposal to learn basically everything you would need to know about Playmaker. It's baffling when people come by and they say there's not enough learning resources. There isn't something about this or there isn't something about that. It's not true. There's so much out there and it's all actually organized very well. It's all actually very central. There's only, like I said, in this one video, I only showed you a few places to get it. And everything you need to know really does exist in these places with some simple searching. But if you ever come across something that isn't there, then you are welcome to ask in the community and we'll do our best to answer your questions. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.